हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल इज गोइंग टू गिव यू ऑल एन आइडिया ऑफ हाउ टेस्ट बेंच एंड टेस्ट केसेस आर रिटर्न टू वेरीफाई ए आर टी एल कोड एंड दिस इज आर टी एल कोड फॉर रैम रैंडम एक्सेस मेमरी ओके आई विल शो यू हाउ इट कैन बी डन सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू वेरीफाई दिस ram module okay this memory module so we are going to write test bench and we are going to write few test cases to verify this module memory module okay so this is our memory which is input clock you can see here clock reset then write control signal data input address and data output this sorry this is the output this uh, data out so here you can see all these are inputs right and this is my output and this module will this module is called actually dut dut means design under test okay in test bench environment this is called dut the module this module is called each module is called dut okay so what is this verification architecture is okay verification architecture what is the basic functionality of this verification environment it has got input and output okay so what are the input side of this dut means this uh, memory module what it is doing actually in the input side we are generating traffic traffic means all these inputs okay we are generating the clock signal then we are generating this uh, reset signal then we are giving this input signal then address is there we are generating address also so that this data the data will be stored in this address then when we read this address then we get our output so here in the input side we are generating the traffic streams like a uh, reset then clock then write control signal then data input and then what we are doing we are driving we are driving all this signal into the design okay and these inputs are called the traffic or the inputs these are called stimuli okay stimulus i will explain that one okay then what are the output side of this dut see this every verification architecture it includes the input side of dut and output side of dut okay the output what and what is the output side of dut what we are doing we are checking these data streams so we are getting some data out right here then we need to verify we need to check actually what exactly we are getting what actually we are getting th this data out then we will verify whether we are getting as per the expected data or not okay so output side of dut checking uh, this data stream and checking protocols and time collecting both the functional coverage and code coverage information this one i am not going to cover okay this functional coverage and code coverage writing deterministic tests and random test to achieve 100% coverage then what is the verification plan what exactly the see when we are going to before writing the test benches the develop a plan means see verification plan means how to verify how to verify the design okay so this is called verification plan so this is nothing but a document okay it is a document we prepare a road map for how to achieve the goal goal that means how we are going to verify our design and this verification plan or test plan includes introduction assumption then list of test cases i will explain okay what are these test cases means okay then list of feature that that has to be tested then what is the approach that we are going to follow then deliverables what are the outcomes then resources then what are the risk okay and scheduling then entry and exit criteria so these are the the all these includes all these are part of this test plan okay the test plan helps verification engineer to understand how the verification should be done a test plan could come in many forms see the test plan it is a document it can be in the spreadsheet format or some kind of simple text file okay test plan 
also contains the description of the test bench architecture and description of each component and its functionality generally verification plan development is divided into two steps the first in the first one is step one is what to verify and the second one is how to verify okay what to verify it includes list of clearly defined features to verify that means what are the things that we are we are going to verify that is what to verify this is called feature extraction phase in a verification plan and the step 2 is how to verify how to verify that after defining what exactly need, need to be verified that means what exactly we are going to verify for the design then we define how to verify them okay so this is all about this verification plan and this is one of the crucial crucial stage okay then what are the components verification components see we are going to verify a memory right here our aim is to verify the memory that is random access memory here okay so what are the components of this verification environment the first one is the stimulus okay so here for this memory what are the um, stimulus here stimulus means the inputs okay what are the inputs here what are we going to do we are going to generate the read so here the memory stimulus generator it generates read signal then write operation then address and data to be stored in the address if it is a write operation then then scenario like generate alternate read or write like uh, you write something then read then write then read for that we have to generate the stimulus okay so operations are specified in scenario generator stimulus generation can be directed or directed means directly see directed means for example data directly write data equal to 16 bit 16 bit something this is directly we assign the value this is called directed one okay and directed random means directed random means see directed random or automatic you remember this one even if if you write data equal to instead of assigning hard code value even you can use this function random okay so what it will do it will automatically it will generate that 16 bit data sorry it is uh, sorry 32 bit data so no need to write this hard code values okay so stimulus can be directed or random or automatic and user should have proper control on that one okay from the test case i will explain this test case okay and sometime what what is done here this no this see error injection error injection what it does here sometimes knowingly some knowingly invalid data are sent so knowingly duty is verified by sending error input stimulus so this is called error injection error injection means knowingly the verification engineer what they do they provide the input that is invalid input and they want to check so how your dut how your dut your how your this memory mod module is going to react uh for this uh, error for this invalid data okay and generally it is also taken care in this module okay generally generator should be able to generate your generator means your uh, this stimulus generator should be able to generate all the possible scenario both valid data and both invalid data we must test so user should be able to control the generation from directed and directed random test cases okay the next component is the driver see this is how it looks like if you want to verify the memory then the first one is the stimulus it generates your inputs both valid and not valid signal like even if error also it generates any valid data also it generates then it is given to the driver okay then there's driver the driver provides all the data so this is these are all these are stimulus okay then reset then address to this input input of this dut means our memory module here even if clock is also given here so what exactly this driver is the driver translate the operation produced by the generator see here the input to input to a driver is stimulus okay 
so a generator generates the stimulus then and then so it is produced by the gener generator into the actual inputs uh, for the design under vc if you see here these are the inputs right if you remember clock is the input to this memory data is the input to the memory reset is the input to the memory address is is the input to the memory and it is coming from actually from the driver not from the stimulus 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 generates all these things then what driver does it delivers all these all these stimulus and it converts all the stimulus into this actual input to the dut stimulus generates all all the data stream then it is given to the driver driver interprets okay all this data and then it generates the actual input that is needed to be given to this dut this is the this is the use of this driver generator creates inputs at a high level of abstraction namely as transaction like read write operation the drivers convert this input into actual design inputs as defined in the specification of the design in interface that is what i explained okay if the generator generates read operation here in this memory then a read task is called okay we will see this one okay i'll show you the program actual program then the next component is the monitor or here data checker see this is not e or okay monitor and data checker are two different things okay they are two different things so it is in the bracket i have written okay so what 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 we do here it checks whether the data is same as expected data or not so it will show see here the output the output of the dut is collected by this monitor this component okay whatever data we get output data of this uh, dut this memory module it is collected by this monitor then, then here we can check whether the data that we got out of this uh, as a result of this uh, dut from this dut that is the actual data that we are expecting or not okay this is the use of this monitor it checks whether the data is same as expected data or not okay then tests tests means here <coughs> this contain the code to control the test bench features this one i will i will show you how it looks like okay and how to write this one okay T this is called test cases also okay tests can communicate with all the test bench components so it is a part of test this is a part of test bench okay once the test bench is in place the verification engineer now needs to focus on writing tests this is also called test case test cases to verify that the device behaves according to the specific see this test case is part of test bench inside the test bench many number of test cases are written to verify your design okay let's say a simple example okay this is a one bit counter okay one bit counter so once counter is a counter which counts the number of ones coming so this is this is my dut the module one bit counter then continuously data are coming the input side okay so counter it is a once counter is a counter which counts the number of ones coming in serial stream the men the minimum value of the count is zero and count start by incrementing so it will count from 0 1 2 3 then till 15 it will count then after 15 the counter rolls back to 0 then 14 13 then it will back to 0 reset is also provided here reset is there clock is there to reset the counter value to 0 so when reset comes when reset comes counter is 0 okay and reset signal is active at the negative edge negative edge okay so input is one bit your input is one bit one bit port for which the serial stream enters and the output is four bit your counter value because it is uh, see 15 14 we cannot represent all this data uh, with this uh, four bits uh, sorry one bit right so it is four bit data okay so our uh, the output bit is four bit port from where the count values can be taken reset and clock pins are provided see how to verify this one one bit counter so how to uh, so how, wh what is the test plan for this one okay how to design this develop this test plan so this is a simple one okay so first one is the count should be from 0 to 15 so the count should increment from 0 to 15 this is this is first test plan second one 
after 15 it should rolls back to zero again this is my second test plan then what is the third test plan when reset comes then when reset comes then count should be zero this is how this test plan is written first test plan is developed then test bench is developed then test cases are written okay this is how these things things are executed so uh, let me show you this uh, code okay the test bench code and this uh, test cases how to write okay so this is my rtl code you can see here okay so this is a module then these are the inputs then output then range so this is my rtl code and next one is my test bench so this is my let me zoom it little bit okay so this is my test bench for this uh, to verify this uh, memory module see this is my dut so we are instantiating here then this is my clock signal you can see here i'm gen generating the clock signal here then reset i'm doing then this is my write signal then after 5000 time step reset equal to 1 then after this time step finish okay so this is clock continuous clock generation see here there is a task okay so this is the driver now this this is what exactly it is okay the, we are generating the stimulus here okay so this is a task see you remember this one task based task based this uh, test bench so this is task based test bench okay so this is my write write task okay so inside this write task i have input data in and the, i have address okay so data so this data this data is written this data is written into this address okay and this this input width of this input and width of your actual input data should be same see here the data in here the data in is 8 bit and here your address is 10 bit same here and this is range okay because test bench inside the test bench it is range see but here inside this write see here inside the write task so it handles all the write operation okay data in has to be the input and the address has to be the input always remember then tb memory tb memory means this uh, name of this uh, test bench tb memory see this T tb memory if we want to access see inside this write this write task we have only data in and we have only address so this this wr is a control signal for writing okay reading and writing so when wr equal to 1 that means you can write that time uh, you give the address and you write the data into the same address okay see to access this one see this wr is not inside this task module see here that meant uh, this uh, write task the wr is here somewhere here you can see here wr is here right this one okay so to access this one from the task what we are doing here we are using this one tb memory because this wr is part of this tb memory this test bench and the name of the test bench is tb memory so how to access this one tb memory dot wr see here this is tb tb memory dot wr wr equal to one now okay and the address is the same address see whatever that the data in here and the data in on the top is same the address here and the address that is in the test bench is same okay so here to access this wr what we are doing here we are using the dot you can use the dot operator okay so like that wr equal to one means you can write now so tb dot tb dot memory dot address that means whatever add this address equal to this address okay 
and this tb memory dot address here this tb memory dot address is the is the address from this test bench okay then this is my data in so what we are doing what we are doing here this address this address is this one okay so this address we are assigning to tb memory address and we are assigning the data into data into this data in tb memory data in okay then like that there is another task called read read and in the read what is required address is required and data because we are reading the address whatever data is there in the address we are reading that one so this is my address and this is my data out so during that reading wr has to be zero this is control signal so how to access this one wr because wr is not part of this task task read so what we can do here tb memory tb memory because this wr is part of tb memory so tb memory dot the wr equal to zero and that time when wr equal to zero you read the address tb memory dot address equal to address see here we have not given any address okay we have not given any address or any what do you call this uh, any input so next one is this one after the end task this task is over then this writing task is over then another here is another instantiation is there and this is called test case this is how test case are instance that is called okay so this is a calling we are calling the test case and the name of the test case is test one okay so we have written a, a test case test one and this is how the test one looks like okay see here this is the test one module then no need to write this uh, input and output here then initial begin then what we are doing here this tb dot memory from here also you can call this one tb dot memory tb dot memory means we are accessing the write okay we are accessing what we are accessing here write task we are accessing the scene tb write this write is a task right we saw here see here this is write this is a task so we are accessing this data using the dot operator here so tb dot memory dot write and what we are writing we have two things right inside this write task one is the input sorry uh, one is the data input and one one is the address so this is my address and this is my input so what then what we are doing we are writing we are writing this address sorry we are writing this data data into this address into this address and we are displaying here tb memory dot data in so tb memory dot data in equal to h so we are displaying data in and we are displaying data address here okay and this is my whole code you can see here how it looks like then we are also doing read here the same address okay the same address here we are reading see here reading the same address and data out that means whatever data we wrote here that data we want to read now okay then we are displaying whether we got the same same data out or not okay same whether we got the same data out or not so this is uh, the whole line you can check here see here okay then what we are doing if then what we are doing here if the data out whatever data we got whatever data we got if it is matching with the input data because this input data we wrote into this address so the data out and data in should be same right if you are matching then what we are doing then data test one is passed that means successfully we read the data okay else data test so we are testing the data whether we are able to read uh, read the data or not so this is a we are we are validating our data not address okay simply we are validating the data so if if you don't read the data same data this may if it is not matched then it will show this one data test failed the same way again we are writing here another data this is a5 now this is 5a 5a into the same address okay that is 10 and we are doing the same thing okay let me show you the code here
ओके सो देन एंड दिस इज ऑल द सेम थिंग डेटा टेस्ट पास और फेल्ड सो यू आर वेलिडेटिंग आवर डेटा एंड दिस इज योर होल कोड इफ आई जूम इन लिटिल बिट लेट मी Okay, let's verify. Okay, so what? Uh, whether we are getting, whether our uh, test is passed or failed. Okay, so this is the output that we are getting here. See here. So when I run this program, then what is see? TB data in is A five. You can see here. See here, this uh, the TB memory dot data is equal to A five. Then address is ten. Address equal to ten. Then we are successfully uh, able to we are able to read the same data A five C here data out A five and data in also A five. So data test one passed. Second case we are writing the data in five A. Then address equal to ten. Then we are reading the address ten. Then we are getting the same data five by five m. So data test two passed. Okay, like this. Another test case is there. Our address part. And this is the code for that one. So here we are validating whether uh, this address test passed. Or whether this address test failed or not, okay. You try to read this one because if I if I start explaining this one, then it is it is going to consume a lot of time, okay. So you start reading this one, and if you don't get, then you can ask me, and I will try to explain again, okay, this one maybe in uh, another video. So and then what are the So this is the result that we are getting. Okay. So here, this is the result. You can see here all the tests successfully passed. Okay. From here, you can you can see here. Then this is my data. This is nothing but this is address. Okay. Address. Then. we are reading the same address then the address test passed then again address test passed so all the address the address that is a uh, the counter okay here we are incrementing the address with the help of the counter so it is slowly it is increasing that means one by one it is increasing and we are able to read the address and this way all the tests are successfully passed okay so this is all about this uh, rtl verification of this memory module so what i wanted to tell here is see here first we had test 1 now test 2 but in real real world that is what this verification engineer they do it is not one or two number of test cases okay many number of maybe thousand number of test cases so one by one you cannot you cannot run you just simply see it and you run one by one then you, you verify all these things what actually they do there will be see there will be thousands of test cases and and how that is run that with the help of Script. One minute. See, there will be many number of test test cases. One, two, three, four, five, six thousand number of test cases. So, no need to what do you call? No need to check all these things one by one manually. So, what they do? 
they write a script for this one they write a script to run all all these test cases maybe thousand number of test cases and it is done by the scripting language like perl like perl scripting okay so perl is one of the scripting language even they use tcl also so they use this scripting language to run all these test cases that means we are this is that's why it is there is automatic so it is not manually anymore okay that writing test see this uh what do you call this running test test cases are not manual it is automatic so that's why scripting languages are used okay so i hope that you all at least now have some idea that how this uh, rtl verification that some kind of uh, rtl based verifications are done done so this is just a basic idea and all these uh, many materials i have collected from this uh, testbench.in okay testbench.in and you can verify you can you can go and check and it has plenty of resources and definitely all these resources are helpful so i hope that you learned something today so at the end thank you so much for watching and if you want to watch more videos that is vlsi related then you can subscribe this channel and even if you really learn something then you can press the like button okay so thank you so much for watching